Hey YouTubers, it's Two Dimples checking in with another randomness video. Today is Tuesday, January the 29th. Um, I've been feeling a little down and out. I was, I was a little under the weather. Friday, I taught my 545 Zumba class and it was like by the time I got home, I don't know what the heck was going on, but I had a sore throat. I was not a happy camper. So I was in the bed <clears throat> Friday night, um, Saturday morning, I got up to, to take my daughter to dance. So I took her to dance. That's our little thing. So I took her to dance, brought my butt right back home, and got back in the bed. Uh, a girlfriend of mine sells um, CABI, C-A-B-I, and I forget what it stands for, but it's a clothing line. And, you know, it, it was a trunk show, so she had invited me. And, you know, I'm all about supporting. Plus, I love to shop and it's clothes and I can't fit nothing. So, uh, I went to the trunk show. It was at 6 o'clock. So, I drove myself to the party at 6 o'clock. Had a good time. Brought my butt back home. Got in the bed. Was in the bed. For the rest of the night, all day Sunday and all day Monday until 8 o'clock when I had to teach. So, I'm feeling better. Moving a little slow, but feeling better. Now, with the trunk show, I was super excited because, you know, a lot of the clothes, you know, the fun part about it is you get to try the clothes on. And my girlfriend kept calling me up there to model stuff and, you know, all of the tops and stuff were a size small and I could fit everything. And I was so over the moon, just so excited. But there was some jeggings, some little mint colored jeggings that she had. And she was like, girl, they got your name on it. Well, I went to look at them. They were a size four. Mm -hmm. So I took the, you know, I took them, you know, when in the in the restroom, and you know, first she's like, "Well, did you try the jackets on?" I was like, "Girl, no, I'm cold." You know, and I ain't feel good, and she's like, "Girl, no, you gotta try them on." They were a size four. So I took the jackets in the bathroom, tried them on, zipped them up, tried them on, zipped them up. Now, mind you, they were tight. They were tight. But I had them on and I had them zipped up and they were on. I came out of that bathroom and I was like, oh my God. And they were like, oh. and I was like, they're tight. I said, but I got them on. And next thing I know, I started crying. And all the ladies gave me a little round of applause. And, you know, and it was just so cute. And I was crying. And wow. So she grabbed me a pair of um, size six jeans. I tried those on. And they were they were a little bit tighter than I would feel comfortable wearing jeans. So size wise, I'm I'm somewhere between a size six and eight pants. I already know that. And this was like my first time really trying on clothes since the last time I bought clothes that I can't fit none of the pants. So I'm I'm just I am I'm so excited. That was that was a good time, but um I guess that was my little non-scale little victory, I guess, you know, that I had on them size four jaggings. It was, it was, it was a happy moment. So we shall see. All right. So my last way in, cause this ain't no way in, it's randomness. My last way in, I forgot to give you guys my measurements. I didn't, I forgot to measure myself and I did go back and I measured myself. So here are the results. The last time I measured myself. Myself. Hold on, now I gotta get myself together. The last time I measured myself was Thursday, January the 10th. <clears throat> um, and then when I measured myself again, it was Friday, January the 25th. So just this past Friday. So my starting bust was a 34. When I measured myself this past Friday, I was down a, to a 33. My starting waist was a 29 and a half. My waistline last Friday was a 29. My starting, don't laugh, but I measured my muffin top. Because <laughs> that's the issue. And it's like, you know, it's not quite my belly, but it's just, you know, my little muffin top. So whatever, don't judge me. This is my video. It was a 34. It is a 33. My hips were a 40. My hips are now a 39. And then my thigh was a 24, my thigh is a 22 and a half. That's my last minute. For a total loss of inches of five inches. So I went down an inch in my bust, a half an inch in my waist, an inch in my muffin top, <laughs> an inch in my hips, and an inch and a half in my thighs. 
I'm happy with that. That that coupled with the 5.3 pound weight loss, absolutely wonderful results. I will take that. I'm very pleased with that. So, um, I, I got. I got, a, I got some stuff that I have to do on Thursday, so I'm probably not going to be able to make my meeting. I need to look at the times and see what I got going on, but it ain't. I'm probably not going to be able to make my meeting. So I'll probably end up going to the Saturday weigh-in, and I ain't going to the meeting. I'll just go to the weigh-in. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that I'm like 95% sure I'm not going to be able to make my Thursday meeting. So don't you know think I didn't fell off the face of the earth if I don't post a video. Uh, I just, I already know ahead of time that probably ain't going to happen. I've been doing a little shopping because I try and keep my food stuff, you know, fresh and new because I get bored with foods often. Ooh, and then, you know, the closer that I get to go, the harder it is for me to lose. And I want to make sure that I still keep my foods fresh and exciting. I don't want to self-sabotage and start eating crap because I'm so close and I get scared and the what ifs come into my mind so I try and find fun stuff to eat and one of the main things that I'm trying to do is incorporate more salads more greens more vegetables I'm not a huge fan of salad but I know that you know I get a pack a whole lot of vegetables in there you know and that could be like a really good filling low point meal because the vegetables and stuff a lot of the vegetables will be free so it's just the accent pieces that go with the salad that, you know, I got to kind of watch. And I actually came up on some good stuff, came up on some good stuff. First of all, I was in Wally World. I call it Walmart Wally World. And I was in the frozen meat section. And I want to say that somebody had told me that Weight Watchers was selling meat or something. And I, you know, I was just like, oh, okay, I ain't seen it. I don't know. Well, I was in the frozen food section and looky, looky, looky what I saw. Yes, folks, Weight Watchers has kind of big meat. And I love it because, where, where, where my finger at? <laughs> One point. So they have the point value on there, and I love it. Now, on the box, it says pre-portioned, okay? So when I see pre-portioned, I'm thinking I'm going to see a whole bunch of little individual little bags. No, nah, that ain't how this is going to work is one big bag but it's individual so each one of these and I don't want to touch it for some another reason but each one of these little tenders is a point and you know what I'm absolutely okay with that because I find one of the problems that I'm having especially with my tilapia the tilapia will come in different fillets but the fillets will be bigger sizes so one fillet might be a little small little piece and another fillet might be this big huge piece and so now I got to be cutting and chopping pieces up and that just makes me insane so I am okay that the Weight Watchers tenders and I got these are the chicken tenders I'm okay that the tenders did not come in like individual little baggies that's fine because I know that each individual piece is going to be one point so I'm cool with that and that is really going to help me with my salads I see a lot of salad action going on here and stir fries and all kind of fun stuff there so I'm cool with that then the next thing that I found was they've got chicken breast assistances <laughs> yes I said breast assistances <laughs> same thing it said pre-portion my movie butt thought you know it was going to be individual bags no but again you know one breast assistance is the three points so I'm, I'm absolutely okay with that that's less measuring time and figuring stuff out for me I'm cool with that um, I haven't I haven't tasted it yet actually that's why the tenders bag is so low because I got some thon over there so I'm gonna throw them on the foreman grill and uh, I plan to have some oh is that a little bunny it's a little bunny rabbit outside oh anyway girl uh, I just get sidetracked so I got some thawing over there, so I'm going to have some salad this evening. Have me a big chicken salad and see what I think. Salad dressing is a big issue for me. That is that is tough for me. I'm a ranch girl. Give me some ranch. 
but ranch is not point friendly at all and I don't like the fat free and low fat and the low cal and all of that the crap tastes diety and I ain't gonna eat it so I've been trying to venture off into the Italian ranch dressings well a lot of the Italian ranches and uh, Italian ranches, Italian dressings, you know, and marinades and all of that are, you know, in excess of three, four, five points <laughs> for two tablespoons. And that's just, I'm sorry, I, I just, I get real frugal when it comes to my points and stuff to eat. I actually found an Italian dressing that is not light or diety, and I haven't tasted this yet, so, you know, I'm all endorsing it. It might taste like crap. I don't know, but I'll come back and let you guys know what I think. But it's one point, and it's this one. And as you can see, I wrote my one point on there. So this is the, it's by Kraft. It's um, Seven Seas Italian Dressing, and it's not like low calorie or anything. And this is one point for two tablespoons. So um, we shall see. I also, actually, you know what, I, gotta, I ain't even use my coupon, doggone it. My husband found a coupon for these doggone things, and I ain't even used the coupon. <laughs> Well, anyway, I bought these today, and I did eat these, and these are so good. And as you can see, because I wrote my point on there, these are one point, and they're a point. The serving size on this is one tablespoon, and one tablespoon is it's actually pretty good. You know, now if you have just this big, huge mound of salad, then you can throw two, you know, okay, throw another tablespoon on there. But I had a decent sized salad. I used one tablespoon, and it was just enough. This flavor is a honey roasted sliced almonds. They're really, really thin almonds. And it just it just adds just like a, a little bit of a sweet little something to it. And, and it's just, you know, and I don't know if you can see that, but it's just like a little sliver of an almond. It's just really, you know, and it just, it tastes good. I like it. So, uh, I found in Kroger... And I'm cracking up because I don't know if I've ever noticed this before, but I, they had the Skinny Cow uh, candy bars on sale for 89 cents. I need to go back up there and buy a bunch more because I ate each one of these and they are delicious. I got the peanut butter cream. And then I got the caramel and I love caramel. That is like my favorite. Now, what I never noticed before, and I don't know if this has always been on there, but guess who endorses it? Can you see that? See that? Four points. Points plus. You see that? So I am absolutely, I'm cracking up, and they're both four points. And I'm not going to open this because I ain't ready to eat it, but it's like one, two, I think it's three, three little squares, you know, nice size, decent size squares, and these things are good. I, I've had one of each so these are both oh so good and I will be going back to Kroger you know I bought you know I bought probably maybe four four or five each just to see you know because just because the chocolate don't mean it's going to be good but these are good these are very good so I'll be going back up to Kroger and going to buy a gang more of these because I have a serious serious sweet tooth and a chocolate fix and I just be needing my chocolate satisfied so that is my latest little snack haul and grocery haul and my latest little finds. I got my water. I'm drinking. Yay. I love my Weight Watchers little mug here. I'm tired. I went to the gym this morning and got my workout in. I went to a step class and I'm just been intimidated. I'm scared of step classes. I'm just, I'd be scared. I'm going to miss a step and fall and bust my face on the step. <laughs> Which is hilarious because how I'm be scared of step class and I teach Zumba. I, that just, that cracks me up. But that's been my fear. And there you go. I put it out there for the whole world to know. I am scared of step class. But I conquered my fear today. And I went to step class and this dude was a beast. Oh, that class was so good. So I know I'm going to feel this tomorrow. Little boy, you better not look at my house. I got my window open. He talking to himself. Anyway. Time is it okay? Um, so I conquered my fear and I went to my step class, and he just really worked me out good. And I think I want to go back for another class. I probably need to sit my butt down because I have to teach tomorrow morning, <laughs> but I'm greedy and I want to take another class because I just feel like I still got something left in me to burn. So I don't know. 
Uh, and of course, you know, Active Link, me and my Active Link are still buddies. I still have that on me. So, my activity sucked for the last couple of days. But I've been in the bed sick, so, you know, I don't know. <clears throat> we shall see. And I have some crap eating. When I, I ain't gonna lie, I was eating crackers and just, you know, and then, you know, it, mm, <laughs> it wasn't pretty, so. That's all that I have, guys. Um, this video has gone over way longer than I wanted it to, but it's my video. I will see you guys later on in the week when I check in with my next weigh-in. I'm super excited. I'm not looking for anything super huge in a lost area because I just had dropped five some pounds. So as long as it ain't a gain, I ain't got to kill nobody. <laughs> all right, guys. Stay focused, and I will see you guys later in the week. Ciao, Bellas.